uh, the memory operator. So let's go back here. Let's go to main. Uh, no memory operator is here. Uh, that should not be a surprise. But if we come in here, uh, let's see. We have no memory operator. Uh, memory operator. Memory operator. Actually, it's good the way I structured it. Let's go here. Okay. There was no memory operator here. <clears throat> so, am I working with the original bank account or with a copy when I feed it into the ATM as, a, as an argument? Okay, there's one student who says copy. Anyone else want to chime in? Two copies, okay. Okay, so two copies, which is good. The answer is good, right? The students answered correctly. But for my program, is that good or is that bad? That I'm working with a copy. And let me let me uh, expand the question. Will I will I will I be saving the correct balance to the database, assuming there was a database? Like if I'm using a copy and I go and work with a copy and modify it and increase or decrease the balance and then I save the value to the database. It's it's not a good idea, right? We want to work with the original. So let's see here. Uh, we are going to run the program and let's see what display balance for ATM gives us and then what this balance statement gives us and we'll compare them. But I'm, I'll have to make sure that I modify with deposit or withdraw, otherwise the values will be the same. So let me run the program again. Okay, so display balance, 500, deposit, 100, display balance, 600, exit. We are interested in here, notice, balance, what? 500. Over here, balance, 600. Why? Because we're working with a copy. The way I structured the code here, it's like, oh, when I feed in balance and I say, hey, initialize uh, count with B, it'll just get the value. It won't get its uh, memory address. So then we're working with a copy, which is bad because if I save data to the database and I'm going to have in invalid balances and then I'll probably get fired, fired right? So let's see here. Uh, Make sure we, we understand. Oops. I wanted this one. Okay, so uh, this is stack. There is no heap right now. We're not using heap. It's there, but uh, we're not using it. So assuming main comes in and we have that uh, bank account uh, we'll just say a and then we have ATM ATM uses a okay so let's track this so when a class gets loaded onto memory it needs to be loaded onto a region of memory that has enough space for the variables for the class. Okay, 
So this is 100x and 96x, uh, 92, 88, and so forth. Okay. So this one gets loaded here. So A gets loaded there. In there, there should be enough memory for balance, the balance variable. Okay. But then when this statement runs, we load a copy, right? So we load. Uh, uh, we load a copy. So this one. Stop. <laughs> OK, there we go. I'll just use the black color, right? So, so then we have another A. And another a right or another account right so we'll have another bank account variable here so we're working with this copy that's why this one had value 500 and this one had value 600 which is bad because we want to be working with the original variable to prevent any issues when we're saving to the database and we might get lucky and we might save it and we might save the correct we might save uh, this one, the second one. But I mean, lucky doesn't work in programming. We, we have to make sure we go back and address this issue. So we're like, oh, so this one has to be a reference. And then we have to go to CPP and then make it a reference too. Mm, actually uh, that should be fine we we define the function here and it's an empty code block right so now we have a reference no copy involved so let's go here and let's run the program again so go here uh, run in terminal and let's display balance 500 deposit 100 and display balance 600 and exit and mm, it's still let me see here i let me backtrack because that's that's not right okay bank account b uh b okay uh reference reference okay let me look here Reference, so that's not a copy. Reference, okay. Let me see here. Uh, one more change that I didn't do, and it's uh, this one it has to be reference, otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay, so let's try one more time. Clear. There's a lot of rules, right? <laughs> so let's go again. And balance, 500. Deposit, 100. Balance, 600. Exit, so now notice, now it's happy. 600 and 600. That's the importance of balance, so let's review what we did right so originally this and this one too they were value meaning like we're not going to work with the original variable so that's why we had 600 and 500 i came in here and i modified just with this piece i'm like bringing a reference it did bring in a reference but the way i declared uh, this variable here again i'm like remember follow the memory operator or follow the ampersand. So I have to make sure that I don't revert back to copy. So I have to make sure that that one's also by reference. So now uh, when I, uh, oh, I'll just use the same one, uh, reference here. And this is value or copy, right? So, uh, so we have stack here so again this value reference stuff it's stuck with you as long as you program in any language okay 
so it's <clears throat> good that you understand now so uh, <clears throat> bank account would be so this one would be here x100 so this would be a and then when we would use that that one and pass it over then it would be x100 so it's referencing that one so both of them which is only one 600 right that's why when we output 600 we're getting 600 from the same memory address and the values won't differ that makes a big difference right and now we when we save values to a database we're guaranteed that we're not going to make a mistake like are we going to pick the wrong uh variable here like we won't because we only have one uh main variable everything else points to that variable via references and that's what we want to make sure uh, we shoot for questions here Okay, no questions. Let me stop and start. <clears throat>